While playing Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, you probably found out already that there are so many caves all over the world. Now, there's secret caves with a lot of really good stuff in them, and then there's some useless caves as well, but you're going to want to find them all, right? So you can make sure you do not miss any of the good stuff. I'm here to tell you there is a great way in the game to show you where all the caves are, and it's very simple. Just looking at the map, you're going to see caves absolutely everywhere, all very close together, some spread out, they're all over the world, and some of them even have multiple entrances and exits so it's very easy to get confused between what caves you've done what caves you haven't and yeah i haven't even shown them all there there's just a bunch here you can see how many caves are all over in this area well here is how you find them all all across hyrule you're going to find eight different cherry blossom trees just like this one to which you can offer fruit in a little stone basin right here that's going to highlight all the caves in a given area so you can offer any fruit at all this is one of the ice fruits, so let's go ahead and throw that into the basket here, the little basin. And by doing that, you're going to trigger this cutscene, and it's always going to be the same cutscene, where this ghost horse that you might remember, that you were able to ride in Breath of the Wild, this boy right here, <laughs> and he will just show you all the caves. You can see them starting to highlight on the map there. That is the Hebra area. And it just highlighted them all on this side. Like, this is just what's visible from my point of view. There probably are other caves on the other side, hidden behind the mountains. The beam is not infinite. And that highlighted all the caves for this area right here. Shooting up into the air is a great way to show you what that actually looks like. And you can see it's quite an expansive area. They do not confine their beams to one area, but the same one on each cherry blossom will give you the same beams every time. So they do kind of overlap. You can probably see here that it's all of this area as well as one or two beams outside of the area as well. It's just they all do that. So it gives you some incentive to explore. That one's really, really far. There's one all the way out there. And then there's one all the way over there as well. That's still in the icy area. But you could see how many there are. So let's go ahead and go to one right now. As soon as you get close to one, this is exactly what it looks like. The beam will kind of fade away once you get to the actual point. But it stays very strong until you actually get right up to the entrance of the cave. And here is that cave right down here, which I've actually already found. You can see it on your map. So as soon as you find the caves, they will appear on your map like this. So you'll be able to identify the ones you've gotten and the ones you have not gotten. So I've been in here, I've done this one already. And as you can see, the uh, beam disappears. But as soon as I go away from the entrance, it comes right back. So you're not gonna be able to lose track. Don't worry, they're gonna stay there. They're very, very helpful mechanic. So just moving away, you can see the beam form back just like this. So let's have a look at all seven locations for these cave identifiers. First one, which is the one I just used to demonstrate it, is just north of Passer Hill. If you look at the map here, it's on the far left, southwest of Hebra Mountains, all the way just west of the Rito village. Very easy to find if you're looking around properly in the right places. Perhaps the most obvious one in the game is one found on Satori Mountain. This is the mountain that's native for the ghost horse we saw in Breath of the Wild. You'll be able to find him here and ride him around. So this will also give you a new area full of different cave highlights that will absolutely benefit you a lot. It'll be mostly this area as well. It's gonna be the area by and large around the tree with one or two exclusions that are kind of far off. So you will notice that. Next one's a very easy one, right outside of Gerudo Canyon Skyview Tower, which is right there on the map. Uh, you can just go right out the entrance and drop down the cave. You'll see it right over there. There it is. So this one's going to provide you with a lot of the caves around here in the canyon and all of the ones in the desert. You'll be able to, you can see there's quite a lot in the desert there. A lot of these as well, these are all like the entrances for the same cave, but you have to pick the right one. So you'll see how it goes. The one that dominates Farron is also found right here on the edge of the tropical area where all the palm trees are. And you'll be able to see it right there, the west of Heron Lake on your map which is in the Farron area right there. The cherry blossom for Hatino, Mount Lanero, and some of the eastern islands out in the ocean is found right here on this map in Ebon Mountain, which is south of Hatino Village. Very easily accessible if you just go a little bit southwest from there. You'll find out the top of the mountain, 
with this beautiful view as well. The cherry blossom that dominates the Zora area and some of Death Mountain is found right over there. You'll be able to see this in the Zodobon Highlands to the western part of that, just southwest of Zoro's domain towards the Rutala River. The one for the Goron area and the rest of Death Mountain, which is the vast majority of it, is found right up here to the west of the Yunobu Ko HQ on the edge of the main mountain. You'll be able to see the tree on the map just like this right beside Death Mountain. The Hyrule Fields one is found right beside Yamio Shrine. You'll be able to see it when you teleport there. It's right here. It's probably going to be the first one you find if you've been doing this yourself. And you'll be able to see this on the map, which is just towards the river northeast of Lookout Landing. So there you go. That is the last one. And that's the eighth one. That's the end of the video. That is everything you need to know on how to find all of the caves in the game. Now, as I said, there are really important things in some of the caves. First of all, you get the Booble Gems. That's a big thing. You're going to need to get some special items later. You also got really special items, special treasure in some of the caves, some cool puzzles to get there, and some shrines. So just keep that in mind when you are exploring. You'll be able to find them much easier with this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys around in the next one. Till then, bye.